someone scrutinizing you from a young age. They will tell you how to build your life stage. A parent's pressure makes your head explode, there's abuse in the home, and now the only thing you feel is alone. She looks in the mirror and doesn't like what she sees due to her insecurities. I miss the way that she used to smile and her dreams that would last a while. Now she's all grown up, heart torn up. She no longer sees the dreams that used to be and this emotional wall needs to fall so she can see her true identity. God mend the heart of misery. Hurt and loss so deep, the pain, the grief, you can hardly speak, you feel so weak and miss the amazing point of being unique just because your upbringing was so meek. I am here to speak. One in three Canadian girls face abuse. We think it's so far away when it's right at the door. We choose to ignore this pain society doesn't adore. The difference is that we fought in wars to embrace. The human race needs to stop moving at such a fast pace and write the music that we all have to face. So before you go to judge someone, ask them about their story first, because everyone has one. You never know the problems that that weird kid in your class has to face. For all you know, they feel like a disgrace that they don't belong to this human race. The tongue is a fire sparking a heart's desire. It's also a flame we use to pass shame. But guess what? You have power. Oh, more power than you think to prevent a heart's sink, to turn a broken soul into gold, to build someone up higher than they've ever been told, because at the end of the day, we all have aches and pains, just in different ways, but all the same, love is what saves. Now, love and identity is the equal remedy from the Garden of Gethsemane. I'm not here to preach, but I am here to speak this simple truth. Love more powerful then the raging sea is what gives one their true identity. As scripture says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Your words are as powerful as life itself. Words create perceptions, beliefs, and even happiness. You could remove all negative speech from your life and you would be a changed person. So I would like to pose a question. If our words have such power, why do we express them so poorly? And if our words do truly change the course of our lives, why are we being self-destructive with them? Our words have immense energy that we pass on to others and ourselves. An example. When I greet my friends, I'm always thrilled to see them and express enthusiasm as if I haven't seen them in years. Recently, I've realized that my joy and vibrational energy has had an immense positive impact on my friends. If you want to create mass effect or see change in your words, you need to add passion, faith, and strong belief behind them. Martin Luther King's I Had a Dream speech completely changed the course of history and is a perfect and beautiful example of this concept. When you add faith and conviction to your words, that's when people will stop and listen to you, and that's when you will see a true change happen. We must be careful what we speak and practice what we preach, because it's the little things, like standing by our word and not using gossip or slander that helps create trust with one another. An honest answer is like a kiss on the lips, quoted from the book of Proverbs. The way we speak to one another can make someone or break someone. Psychologists say that verbal abuse can be just as damaging, if not more damaging, than physical abuse, depending on the case. Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise will bring healing, quoted from the Bible. Your voice is powerful and evocative, and what comes out of your mouth is a true representation and reflection of who you are. So I would like to leave you with this. 
Are you aware of the impact you create every time you speak a word? Thank you.